there guys, Rob here at Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies, this is episode 3. So, uh, obviously, we're going back into our Conquest game, and I have some really interesting things planned for today, which I think you'll all enjoy. Um, first things first, let's get back into our game and figure out our plan. Our plan to take over the... map. <laughs> I was gonna say the world, but there's no way that this is the entire world. This is just a slice of the world. So, here's what I see. I see... Lipidotera, Wombaton, and Corono. This is all one civilization now. So they they have taken over three cities. We have two cities, but they have at least 60. I think they have a little bit more of the income than us. You know, probably around 40 more income than us now because they have the extra city. And uh, so what we could do is we could we could kind of slow them down because that's they're going to be a problem. They're going to start overproducing airships and landships. I really wanted to go north. Um, and take over this city here that had the flamethrowers because I thought flamethrowers. Yeah, we want flamethrowers Of course we do and like I mean sorry What's more steampunk than a big flying machine with a flamethrower? I'm sorry. That's that sounds really great But um, I think we need to I think we need to focus our efforts on these guys So we could go Oh, going after Wombaton would be really good because we can get rockets from them Telescopes, I have no idea what that does. I guess we'll figure that out when we get there But I think I think yeah, I think we need to go after Corono first so another thing that's interesting about this game, and thank you so much for all the comments. You guys are just amazing. Uh, you guys, you know, anytime I have a question about something, you're just like, you're there. So first of all, a little bit of lore. Compliments of Twi... Twi... Ah, sorry, I can never pronounce your name correctly because it's spelled so funny. Twi a cursory, I think is how you say it. Um, so suspendium. Let's talk a little bit about suspendium. Suspendium is what causes things to float. And the reason it does that, suspendium is contained in things like land masses. So there's suspendium here and there's suspendium here. And suspendium actually repels each other, kind of like a when you take a battery and you put the negative against the negative. Um, it causes it to repel. So in much the same way, suspendium will repel against each other. So that's why these islands can actually float. And that's why when an airship has a sus suspendium chamber in it, they can actually power that suspendium or put energy into the suspendium and cause it to float because it repels against other suspendium sources. Makes sense? So interesting tidbit of lore. Now, another really interesting thing about this game is that we have spies. Spies can do a variety of different things. Spies can be sent into enemy territory to destroy buildings and or incite revolt. I have not done either of these things yet because I saved that kind of thing for actual gameplay. But as you can see here, for 1,720 bucks and 10% chance, we can send our spy in to try and destroy this building. That's a very expensive uh, uh, experiment for such a small building. Or we can spend 1,000 bucks and there's a 20% chance to incite a revolt. I mean, a 1 in 5 chance for 1,000 bucks, it's not too shabby. Uh, and, you know, I can see that being a real, you know, if you... If there's a, a, a couple really big uh, machines in a territory, I can see that being kind of not a terrible idea. I think he's actually sending, he's sending in land. Oh no, we, we repelled some land ships. Yes, they are going back. Okay, so our next plan is to take over Chrono. He's got the two buildings there and uh, we have Muck Yuck Yuck. Oh, that's a Basilisk. So uh, he doesn't have, he's not that great actually. You know, let's do a quick... No, 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 I'm not going to refit the Basilisk. Uh, he, we're just going to use him until he dies. <laughs> we're going to send him to Ionesco, and we're going to send him along with Makiakuk into Invade Corono, and then we're going to build a brand new ship, folks. And it is, uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a good one, I think. It's going to be a really good one, a fun one, actually. Something very themed and totally unreliable and might work. <laughs> I don't know. We still haven't actually taken over this territory, but uh, good enough to, uh, I think, to take these two guys, Mukyuk and the Basilisk, and we're going to invade Corono. Hopefully they don't attack back right away. Oh, they're attacking back. I ah, wish I could see what's in that little group. How, how many? Oh, no, I can't. I can't actually see what's in that group. So they're sending uh, guys to go in and attack. Delakyakyakyak. <laughs> uh, I can't even pronounce my own city um, that I named. So we have our massive, massive, massive defensive building. We should be okay here. I think I think we're safe to send uh, the group to go attack Corono. Let's do it. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Uh, well, the worst that can happen is we can lose the city. We could we could have built another airship. Uh, that's okay. We are attacking. Aha! Oh, why didn't why didn't our uh, why didn't our get activated? Oh, weird. 
Now, maybe there was just no easy place for him to go, but yeah, we can place him right on the edge here, so that's okay. And he's not going to be able to move. So another interesting thing that you guys are pointing out is that islands maybe can be moved if you try to ram them. So yeah, that's a thing, apparently. Uh, I, I will attempt to try that at some point. Um, so yeah, the uh, they're just going to kill some buildings, and I'm just going to keep this guy as far... Oh, right, he can't, he doesn't... See, I don't like this vehicle because he's he really doesn't have a good... Uh, he can't rise. What's the point of having an airship that can't rise up above the enemy, right? So that's the thing. So we're basically, basically we're going to keep our vehicles right here and have them just uh, fire and destroy the enemy if possible. So those suspendium chambers. Oh, look at the suspendium chambers just blast them. Fantastic. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Hold on. Let's watch the damage as it, ha as it happens. You can tell the suspendium. Oh, yeah. Those are suspendium guns coming in. Coming in. Looks like they have uh, steel, steel wall armor. So yeah, apparently also another thing you guys were pointing out is that I was using steel, uh, there's two types of steel armor, and I think we needed to use the steel wall armor, that's one that we have the bonuses on, and uh, yeah, so sorry about that, we will fix that uh, when we have the chance. Look at that, burn! Burn it to the ground! <laughs> Tally ho! On the cannons! Get me a tea, boy! <laughs> sorry, um, a terrible British accent, but I have to use a terrible British accent because this is steampunk. And, I don't know, whenever I think of steampunk, I think of terrible British accents. What can I say? Gentle takeover. Or should we do a brutal takeover? No, gentle takeover. Yeah, let's do a gentle takeover. Okay, I don't think we took much damage there, which is fantastic. And, oh, uh, here we go. So we are defending this time. We uh, we can't really, well, can we move that over a little bit? No, it is it is what it is. So, start. Not really much I can do. We can tell him which, which uh, vehicle to, oh, yes. Shoot at the guy with the ram. Ah, oh, he's ramming. Hit him. Oh, flat guys. <gasps> Oh no! He turned around and went behind us. We didn't put any rear-firing guns on the on the. Uh... Oh no, that's not good. Oh, an oversight. A uh, terrible oversight. We did not put any rear-firing guns. We could have put the building further back, and then he couldn't have got behind us. I didn't even think about that, guys. Oh no, we're gonna lose this because. And honestly, if he was smart, he would actually move his vehicles in behind ours now and just pummel us from behind. Uh, what's it saying here? Uh, we've lost our bridge. It's not under command, so somehow we've lost our bridge. It got shot out or something. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we did it! Okay, so we destroyed, almost destroyed two vehicles here. Uh, oh, looks like we do have the... Oh, the black guns! Why is he... He just... He should go right behind... Yeah, we, uh, we... We won, but we shouldn't have won. Because if he was smart, he would have gone right behind our building and just shot out all those struts and then just wasted us. <laughs> but we won! Uh, okay, close. Very close. No for next time, and we should maybe refit that building. Um, let's actually go, let's go to defenses here. Um, we can refit this building, so let's do that really quickly. Really, really, really quickly. Don't worry, this will not take long. Be right back. Okay, so we've refit it, and I guess it doesn't matter where it sits. That's fine. It's fine. Where it is is fine. So now, if, if a flying vehicle gets in behind it... Uh, move. Okay, so yeah, they have to rebuild it. So, um, now if a flying vehicle, we put a cannon and a couple riflemen in the front, and with buildings, as far as I know, there is no repair button, but with vehicles, there is a repair button. Uh, pausey pause. Uh, there is a repair button with vehicles, as long as you're in a city that has a working shipyard. <laughs> uh, but not with buildings. I think buildings you have to refit in order to fix them. So there we go. We are... We still have a little bit of time before that is taken over. During that time, let's build another really interesting design idea, Compliments of Conga. Now, practical? Perhaps not. But that doesn't matter. So actually, we're going to build it here. Well, we'll design it here. <laughs> we're going to design so Kaga let me let me let me start from the beginning Kaga is one of the commenters on the channel and actually a quite avid commenter he's always on the channel commenting about something anyway he made a request and Kaga doesn't often make requests he wanted me to make a dog ship a ship like a dog and how can I say no he even sent me a picture I'm not going to send you the picture if you want to see the picture you can just look at the comments on the first and second video because he's there the first one asking for it the second one complaining that I didn't do it <laughs> So this is in order to keep him quiet. Um, so anyway, or sorry, her quiet. My apologies. Anyway, so let's build a dog ship. And I'm going to fast forward this build for you. And uh, we'll see you on the other side. Give me a moment.
Ha ha! There she is! She is magnificent! Now, you can't really tell all, you know, that she looks totally like a dog from this side, but if you go to the paint, there she is! She's so cute, so I had to make some compromises, Konga, I apologize. So, uh, we had to give him floppy ears so that, of course, we could put flat cannons on top, and we made the tail a little longer so we could put a crow's nest there, and of course we gave him a propeller pooper. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, okay, actually, the propeller is a little low for his pooper, so we put a, <laughs> we put a, uh, what do you call it, a, uh, a hatch, of course, where his pooper is, because that makes sense. <laughs> it's where the poop leaves. And, of course, we've got some rear-firing uh, turrets, as well as, this is basically a bombing ship. Now, here's some compromises that I had to make with this ship. Actually, let's look at the modules on the inside first. So, um, we had, I, normally I would put all cannons in the front, or alternate cannons and, and rifles, but do mostly cannons in the front, especially for a, a, an airship, I think. However, um, because the way that the ladders work and struts, I don't think your guys can walk through the struts. And I wanted the struts for the mouth, and of course, in order to do that, I couldn't put cannons here. Otherwise, I think the guys would have gotten stuck and been able to get animal, unable to get ammo. To, like, they wouldn't have been able to walk through the struts. So we've got made a compromise, did some rifles. The rifles are still pretty good, but I added some more rifles in the bottom. There's a couple rear-firing rifles in case somebody tries to sneak up his bum. And, of course, he has a lot of suspendium chambers. Was, yeah, so uh, th this guy, he, oh, uh, his service ceiling is 121, which is very high. Um, he can get very, very, very high. However, um, I did make a compromise. I, of course, we get a bonus with steel armor, but unfortunately, when we put steel armor on this, watch what happens. So if we fill with steel armor, watch our service ceiling. Uh, oh, sorry, fill. Our service ceiling becomes 28. And because I, yeah, I just, I, that means this vehicle would be probably fly lower than the, uh, than the basilisk so we want we want this thing to fly as high as possible so we compromised and just went with basic wooden armor we didn't go as low as a wooden wall just wooden armor so it's a little bit better than the wooden wall but you know that way it keeps high and of course then we can do bombing runs because he's got the bomb bays look at those yes aren't they glorious aha so we'll be able to uh hover over top of buildings and even other airships because we'll be able to get higher than them that's where i'm hoping that we get the advantage with this vehicle so is it beautiful i think it's very cool and lots of repair bays and of course everything kind of evenly spaced and you know like I said compromises all the way through but just to make this design work but I think it's gonna be really good and of course what did we name this <laughs> because it was Conga's request and it is a dog we of course called it the Donga <laughs> the Donga and of course we gave him a, a, uh, um, a coat of arms hat uh, I know that wasn't supposed to be a hat, but it's a hat now. Isn't he beautiful? I think he's gorgeous. Anyway, guys, so there we go. We are going to build the Donga at uh, Deluk Yuk Yuk. There we go. Away we go. We are building him, and we're going to use him maybe to uh, harass our northern enemy, but he's got a lot of... He actually has a lot of vehicles there, but he's probably... He only has 57 income, so, hmm, he can't be doing that well. Okay, so gentle takeover. We've taken over this city... And we have enough. We don't have enough to build uh, the other uh, building yet, do we? Uh, we're gonna hold on. Build defenses. Hold on. Um, build building. How much is that building? The Hollow Tower of Doom is thirty-one ninety-seven. I don't think we'd be able to build the actual Hollow Tower of Doom at every city anyway, because yeah, the the land isn't designed the same way. So yeah, I don't know. I, I think we'll just put a basic building here. We're gonna put the Solid Watch is okay, but it doesn't have doesn't have flat guns on it. Uh, we could refit it to put flat guns on it. Yeah, we, we might do that. Okay, so let's do that. We're gonna we're gonna put the Silent Watcher here. Just some basic defense. Yes, we do have the uh, the one building in the back here, but I think having some extra basic defense. This guy has the the dorsal fin. The uh, sorry, dorsal fin. He is not a dolphin. It is it's a building. He has the dorsal gun, which means it can actually rotate and shoot in any direction, which is really cool. And I think it it does a fair amount of damage too as well. So we're gonna get that building and away we go. Leave. Excellent. And while that's going, what have we got here? View City. Let's see what he's got. Oh, he's got a oh, couple balloon ships. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. And it uh, looks like he's got some big buildings. Three big buildings. We could try to destroy them with spies, but that's too too much money. I'd much rather crush them with the muck, yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> All right. Invading. Dun, dun, dun. This should slow him down. Look, he's, he's sending... Oh, he's sending ships into Wombatton. Oh, this could be a pretty messy fight, guys. This is going to be messy. Ah, oh, okay, so what do we got? We've got, ooh, this is a night battle. 
I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is, I like the night battles because, you know, fire and, of course, sparkly things. It's great. Okay, so uh, he's got a couple of the floaty dudes. These should be pretty easy to take down if we take down those suspendium chambers. Uh, so we're... Oh, uh, right. Right, the basilisk... Oh, it's so frustrating. The basilisk can't fly high. So we'll keep him in behind. And the muckyuck... The muckyuck should be able to walk hopefully it is a very heavy ship and that's another thing that was pointed out is that the reason it doesn't walk that well uh, over obstacles and stuff is it's so heavy <laughs> and i get that but okay so i think that's that's good we'll start and we'll sand in the muck yuck to go as quickly as possible and maybe ram some of these guys let's go let's do it let's do it and it's this guy here the basilisk he needs to take care of these airships let's do that if we can yeah he's Oh, there he goes! One, oh, ah! Uh, one couple more hits. There he goes. Wow, look at the fireworks. I like the night battles. It just, it may be a little hard to see for you guys, but it looks, it looks pretty cool. Look at that! I, it has way more legs than I ever thought it did. Look at that. Can you imagine that coming? It's like the big ad ads. Like, that looks so cool. Hold on. We're gonna move the bass looks down a little bit so that he can hit those guys a little better. There we go. I wonder if the cannons get hit at point blank or like that, because they seem to be shooting right through him. Yeah, I don't think they can hit that close. So, actually, maybe we should move the Basilisk up and then flip him around. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Oh, right on. He's just walking right over top of him. We didn't really mean to do that. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, no, no, no. You're, you're. I meant for you to ram, but that's okay. Let's move you back. Move back. There we go. Uh-oh. He's stuck. Uh-oh. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, let's maybe get the Basilisk. Yeah, that's as high as he goes. Okay, so... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a lot of fire. Guys, put out the fire. Look at him go. Like, why are they just running around screaming? <laughs> We're going to lose our tail. Okay, well, we did win. We won. Uh, we destroyed the Shining Tower and the Black Citadel. We disarmed the Invincible. Not sure which one is which. The Great Pillar surrendered. So I have a feeling that this is the Great Pinner and uh, the, sorry, the Great Pillar and the Watchmen are probably these guys. So anyway, we won, but we didn't. Wasn't a landslide. I was kind of hoping that. Did, I thought we had a ram at the begin at the front of the ship. So that didn't seem to work so well. So good to know. Anyways, so we're gonna do a gentle takeover. Uh, uh oh. Okay, so, oh, is it, okay, so we've got an airship and a land ship with a, tra a tracked green land ship. That looks pretty cool. Coming in, and uh, we can probably fit our dude in, uh-oh. <laughs> um, okay, so what if we move, so we may, not, the, the problem with this vehicle is it's so big and so awkward that it doesn't fit. Ah, oh, that's not good at all. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's try one more time to try and get him in behind here. So, lesson learned. If you're going to build something weird and big, um, try and build it uh, tall rather than wide, I think. Uh, even tall could be a pain because of the islands, but yeah, see, see what the um, problem we ha have here is we just can't, we can't even bring it out. So we've got this big, big, big vehicle that's stuck somewhere in the mud, sinking. <laughs> okay, so let's move him back in behind, the Basilisk in behind, and then we he can just kind of help both of these guys, hopefully. Do we have a flat gun on here? How are we going to destroy that airship? I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, well, let's just start it here. Yeah, see, that's a problem. Oh, good. He's lowering. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, fantastic. Oh, uh, can we get... Just rise up just a little bit. There we go. Oh, yes, perfect. Now, if he, he can he can actually rise up a little bit more and actually get out of range of us. So we'll make sure that this guy is targeting the airship. I think we're okay. I think the building's okay. I think I think the, uh, the building can probably defend himself. <laughs> that little tank looks like it only had maybe one gun on it. <laughs> I love this game. So much fun. Tally-ho! <laughs> oh, look at this. We're shooting through. You can actually see the suspendium chamber in there. The guy's panicking. It's going to start burning. Like, our airship is actually already starting to burn. Oh, there he goes. Looks like... And if you hit the suspendium chamber enough, of course, right, it takes damage. And then, of course, they lose their, uh, their ability to fly, which is always a good thing. <laughs> we completely dissolved the tank. We melted the tank down at the core. Oh, we're hitting it from behind with the building, too, as well. Awesome! There you go! He is grounded. So maybe we should uh, move this down a little bit. 
There we go. Perfect. <laughs> now we're just we're just sniping guys now, just for fun. Just for fun. I, I at least we got salvage for for killing these guys. Sometimes you get to if they surrender, you get to keep their vehicles or keep their. At least we know we get to keep their their buildings, which is really cool. I wonder if eventually, especially, and this is a multiplayer game too, so would it be cool if you could capture enemy enemy uh, airships and stuff? I think you can. I think they can surrender and you can capture them, which is neat. Okay, I think, yeah, that's it. They're, they're, they're done. Destroyed and immobile. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so we need to get this. I should have done a brutal takeover here just to get it done so that we could repair these ships. Yeah. Okay, so we do have our new vehicle, which is the Donga. Look at him. Isn't he glorious? He's absolutely beautiful. I love him. I love him so much. Uh, you know, let's just send him all the way, all the way across the sea. Actually, oh, <laughs> oh, we're being attacked again. Okay, that's not surprising. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this over to here, and uh, I don't know, just keep everything back as far as possible because I, if they get behind, you know, we're we're in trouble because we don't have any uh, top firing weapons like flat guns and stuff. So I don't know. Let's try it again. Um, this guy should go down pretty quickly. Are we as high as up we can be? Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Was it just one guy? Oh, oh, that's got a sting. Man, those balloons are fine, except you have to put struts or something around them, or you have to protect them. Like, you I could, you could put the balloons on the inside of your vehicle, and then put uh, corridors around the balloons. I think that would work really well. I don't know. We'll have to try it one day. I don't know if you can do that, though. I think you can put the the uh, balloons on the inside. I think the chambers, many of the chambers. Ha ha! We got them. We got them. Very good. Very good. Very good. Well done, lads. <laughs> I, I'm not even sure what accent that is. I, I shouldn't be doing accents. <laughs> I hope nobody's offended. I never try to offend anybody. I know a lot of people in Britain watch my shows because they tend to, or watch my episodes because they tend to appear uh, later than most other people's because I do my stuff later because I do it after work. So I don't mean to offend my British audience. <laughs> I hope you have a good sense of humor and I think you guys usually do. <laughs> Again, stereotyping. There we go. All Brits have a uh, good sense of humor. Well, I hope they do. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, I didn't even try. Yeah, we can't even get him out. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Start. So we're being attacked. I think he was just sending in reinforcements. The problem is they arrived a little too late. There we go. One good hit to the to the to the to the uh, chamber there, and they go down. Um, excellent. Very nice. So you can actually reserve your ships. Uh, so if they're actually out, and I think you can send them to the edge of the screen and put them back into reserve. Yeah. So I could activate the muck yuck anytime I wanted. Actually, that's kind of cool. I like that. I just wish the maps were bigger. Um, I have a question. Does that not look like a flying turtle? It looks like a flying turtle. I think it's, it's, oh look, it's snowing. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if the seasons make a difference. This is such a cool game. What a neat little design. I love it. I love it. Okay, come on guys, let's finish them off. Couple more good hits and take that. Yeah, for the empire, victory. Huzzah, huzzah. <laughs> okay, yeah, we got him. Defeated. Oh, so can we just, uh, okay, done. All right, perfect. They, oh yeah, that's our, okay. So before we do that, before we actually send our, our dog all the way in, we need to uh, send a spy. We're actually gonna send our dog back here. There we go, there we go. Um, we're gonna send in a spy to see what this city looks like. We're actually doing pretty good, I think. Considering we really haven't built all that much, we, uh, we have a good income, but not great. I mean, okay, so view city. Uh, I don't think the dog would be able to handle... I mean, these 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 guys with the suspendium chambers would probably go down pretty quick, but this guy looks like a just a big brick of... Well, maybe, he ha maybe he has some cannons in there. I don't know. And, of course, two buildings. Yeah, we'll send in the muckyuck. Look, there's no obstacles. The muckyuck would be perfect in here. Excellent. And we should be able to repair the muckyuck. Uh, yes, so we can actually repair vehicles. No problem. It's the buildings that you have to refit. So repairing the muckyuck... Excellent, and I think we're gonna call that an episode and actually before we go before we go Let's attack Let's actually wipe these guys off the planet. They need to go Dun dun dun. Oh wait, sorry move him back. <laughs> I didn't realize we were re I mean I knew we were repairing But I didn't think it was actually gonna take that long Okay, so we'll send him back because I want to send everybody together, right? And apparently you can send land ships over the water So I'm sorry for misleading you guys on that Oh no, you can't! 
You cannot send land ships over the water? You have to send airships. Ah, oh, fascinating. So yeah, somebody I think somebody had said on in the comments that you can send uh, land ships over water, but no, look at this, you cannot. I can select an airship and go over. Or maybe, no, it's not, there is no path to get there. I think that's what it means. I don't know. Interesting. So I can only... Weird. So I cannot send this group of three guys, but can I set, send... I can send the Makyak back to here. Weird. Okay, but what about, what about the airship? The airship, yeah. So you can only send airships over water. So, I think we should build a fleet of dog ships. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Yes, we're gonna build a couple more dongas. Building a donga. Uh, yes. <laughs> Cause what's better than one donga? Many dongas. A, a pack of dogs, a pack of dongas. <laughs> like, you don't, I don't know. I don't know, it's been a long day. It's been, <laughs> I can't help myself. I know, I was gonna end the episode, but now I, now we need to, now we need to, we need to resolve this now. So there we go. Um, that's, that's how it's gonna work. We're gonna fast forward this. Get over there. Come on, get there. They're actually licking their wounds right now. Cause they know, they know something's coming. They know it's coming. There we go. We're gonna send our three airships over to invade Lepito, Le Lepitoptera? Lepitoptera. There we go. And it's got a huge shipyard. Hold on, let's take another look at the city here. They do have a lot of stuff, but it's all small stuff. We should be okay. Here we go. The, d the attack of the dogs. We haven't seen the donga in action anyway, so we can't end the episode before we see the donga. We have to see it. Um, Kaga's probably uh, anxiously awaiting to see how well the donga performs in battle. And I don't know at this point. Uh, just out of curiosity. Yeah, we're still lax spy. Yeah, whatever. Um, so I, I presume it's going to do okay as long as we can get the advantage of height. <gasps> Look at them. Aren't they magnificent? Oh, they're beautiful. Okay, so we need to flip them. I built them backwards. <laughs> if, you, if you saw me building them, I actually built the, the Donga backwards because they're normally built the other way. So every time I play or every time I put them into battle, they're going to be backwards. Okay, so um, actually we want them to be as high as possible. So because then we can, uh, of course, the advantage of height in this is going to be key. So we'll do that. And we're going to keep this guy kind of in behind so that he can hit everybody. Hopefully he doesn't draw too much attention. Uh, although we don't want the Dongas to attract too much attention too because uh, they are a little, they don't have great armor. So I don't know, let's try this here. Look at them, they're coming right underneath, which means we can use the bombs on them. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move this guy back a bit because I think he's coming in. Yes. There we go. There we go. The bombs. Look at the bombs away. Boom. Right there. Awesome. Okay, so we'll move a little bit more that way. And uh, maybe move. We can't move him back any further. Uh, let's go down. Oh, no. Ah, oh, that was a mistake. Whatever. That's fine. We're going to move the other Donga. It's going to go start attacking the rear building, which is definitely more of a threat. There we go. Away! Go, lads! Get him! Bombs away! Look at that! Oh, look at the Hold on! Look at the guys on the outside! Oh, I wonder if they're troops. Oh, that could be bad. The so we have no guard barracks on our, on our vehicles. Oh, look at that! Oh, we've got him! He's sinking! <laughs> Oh, I love it! The bombs are just gonna pelt him to death. Fantastic! Beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, so these guys, uh, look at this. The building is falling apart. I wish I could see everything at once. Uh, a little tricky though. Bombs, bombs, yes, yes! Awesome, beautiful! And of course the cannons are just pelting the crap out of those guys. Excellent, excellent! One more good hit, actually what we should do. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, don't sink. Uh, what we could do, uh, yeah, the riflemen are shooting at that airship, which is good. The bombs are shooting at that one. Uh, let's target this other airship, just to get rid of them. Uh, it's a bit of a pain. I'm glad we got the two rear-firing, uh, oh, what am I doing? We need to flip this guy. Hold on, pause, pause, pause. Yeah, um, oh, I guess we gotta wait now, because he's got, I'm wasting those guns. No, don't sink! Oh, wow, that was close. Whew, uh, we need to flip this vehicle. Move, uh, flip, because, yeah, we weren't actually making use of our 
cannons. Uh, we could have been making use of our cannons and shooting the other guys. My bad. I apologize. Don't yell at me. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, excellent. It's just going to sit right underneath me. That's a bad place to sit. <laughs> I love it. Oh, super fun. Okay, so we could probably send this vehicle over here and kind of get uh, get these guys just kind of shake it up here. Those bombs. Oh, yeah. There we go. Once you get nice and close, watch those cannons. Just tear them apart. This, this, the nice thing about the Basilisk is it has a lot of front-firing guns. Hence why I think it's called the Basilisk, because if you stare the Basilisk in the eye, what happens? You get you get pummeled. Oh, yeah. We need to get the this Donga right here. Perfect. So he's bombing those guys. And actually, we need to move this guy back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Uh, repair tools left, Omero. Almost out of repair tools and running out of ammo. Come on, guys. You can do this. Actually, the dog ships are pretty darn good. I like them. Uh, oh, no. Oh, man. He got above me again. Okay. They're moving around too much. That's the thing. Oh. Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, they, it's a good thing they don't have uh, the, the ability to ram. I would love to build some vehicles. Uh oh, oh, no, 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 no. Careful, careful. <laughs> Actually, we're going to get this ship uh, attacking. We can't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ow. Take evasive action. Okay, move out of the way. Hold on. Uh, we're going to flip him too. There we go. We're going to move this guy back a little bit. Oh, oh, we're boarded. Yeah, oh, but they're toast. Oh, smash the skies! Awesome. <laughs> Victory! We did it! We got them all! Uh, this ship is still flying, though. Oh, there we go. Survived. They surrendered, so we actually... Does that mean we got this? We've actually captured this this flying ship? That would be pretty cool! Um, we're going to do a gentle takeover again. Why not? And I just want to see... No, we didn't actually get to take over that... Oh, but we lost the berserk. We lost the basilisk, but that's okay. Um, considering we just wiped out an entire culture in one episode, I am pretty pleased with that, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. This is such a fun game, and we're uh, we're about halfway to finishing it. So maybe another two episodes, maybe? Um, but, well, that's assuming we don't lose terribly. But I think we did a really good thing in eliminating the largest other player. This would be totally different if we were playing multiplayer, which I might do for an episode, or we'll do it on stream or something. That would be super fun. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I am loving this game. It is really fun. If you have a chance, pick it up, because it's it's really fun. And it's still in early access, so expect, expect there to be some issues with it, of course. But it's still really fun. Anyway, guys, take care.